Jane King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley, Attorneys at Law. Let's get right to Jane, live in New York City. And Jane, it looks like the airlines held up to a huge holiday travel challenge. <laughs> so the TSA prepared for travel yesterday, which was expected to be the busiest travel day in U.S. history. Now, the TSA expected to screen 2.9 million passengers. They have not issued the final tally yet. We should get that today. Flight Aware reports 66 delays and no flight cancellations Sunday at Indianapolis International. And in fact, uh, no cancellations Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Now, the roads were also busy with 50 million people coming back home yesterday and then some today as well. Well, impulse purchases may have played a role in the Black Friday growth since 5.3 billion of online sales Friday came from mobile shopping. And Adobe says electronics like smartwatches and televisions, along with toys and gaming with the big sellers, home repair tools underperformed. And Black Friday did generate 9.8 billion in U.S. online sales, up 7.5% from a year ago. And the spending bump reflects consumers looking to take advantage of all the deals that we have seen out there in recent days. Well, this year's Thanksgiving box office estimated to have reached $172 million. Lionsgate's Hunger Games, a ballad of songbirds and snakes, held the top box office spot with about $42 million in ticket sales over the five-day holiday weekend. Napoleon, an R-rated war epic distributed by Sony, brought in around $32 million. And the Dow closed 100 points higher Friday, so the major averages now been up for four straight weeks. Bit of a sluggish start, though, coming back today. We're pointing down about 30, 40 points. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. You know, Jane, we're just 34 days away from 2024, and apparently a new report yeah. says that a lot of Americans are still choosing bad passwords to protect their accounts. <laughs> I've been doing this story for 12 years. Yep. The list of the most common passwords of 2023 has been published, and one, two, three, four, five, six is in first place. Now, this uncreative password was used over four and a half million times by users online. The word admin was a close second. So, you know, if you're a hacker of some sort, you just try a few different passwords and you're going to be able to get into some accounts that way. So. We should be better about this. I cannot believe we're still doing this 12 years later, and those have not changed. They're either. almost exactly the same. Uh, they are. They're all your A, B, C, D. You know, they're always like something like that. Really uh, easy. So don't be uh, surprised when you get hacked. It's I would say happen. guilty as charged, but that might be a hint. Uh, Jane, thank you. <laughs>